Monday. It's time for number six on our top list of games of all time. We're back again, and this time we have really good games for you. So <laughs> what? Let's get started with. I know that I have good games, but I'm not sure about I you guys. I at your list. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I had to check before, so you know I don't want to scare the, the viewers away. Draco <laughs> approved. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had I had Beyond the Sun. And you can't, you can't have it twice. It. Okay. it doesn't work that way. Okay, so I have two. There's three. rules to this oh, list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So my number six is Concordia Venus. That's a good pick. Good choice. I told you. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. I actually played this yesterday. Oh really? Yeah, with oh. my wife. I played oh, yeah. a two-player. Uh, one versus one, hmm. which I haven't done in a long time. What map did you play though? We played uh, Korsika. Oh, okay, it's like a small. Yeah, yeah so there is, uh, if you go to Board Game Geek files, like if you go to Concordia or Concordia Venus, can't remember, and you go to files, and there someone has uploaded a PDF with like um, some kind of map, how, how to choose the best map. Oh, okay. Of. It's like a matrix, and there are numbers. And you should you should pick like based on the number of players pick the one that the map who is closest to one point zero. Well, the higher the number, the more interaction, oh, and the more okay. interactive the game will be, the tighter okay. it will be. Huh. So we picked for two players. We picked the Corsica because that is one point zero, which is supposed to be the most interactive ah, map yeah. for two players. Interesting. Yeah. And you can you can play something else. Which Someone like, made a web page for this. Uh, it's like a, a PDF uh, oh, okay. matrix, and you can if we were to put picks another map which like 0.5 would be less interactive probably. Mm. Hmm. Uh, so we played Corsica. It has no special rules but we just played a normal game of Concordia. Do you Venus. have like the Salsa expansion? In yeah the so we played with Salsa mm. and the Forum Tiles and um, yeah it was great mm. but I, pre I prefer the, the team variant. Yeah, yeah. The team variant is so much fun. Yeah it is. It's Especially if you play proper by the rules and you can't like you are not allowed to, not talk. to talk. Yeah. Uh, you like you have to try to read and you I mean you have friend. to be strict about that so I, I played the game I'm not gonna mention any names but we have a common friend to us who started talking about like well I'm planning to travel this to this part of Italy blah 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 next <laughs> year and like making hints yeah <laughs> you're not supposed to do yeah, that yeah I think that that is like uh, breaking the magic circle yeah it is right so, yeah. but I mean if, if you if you prefer to play it that way with open communication yeah, yeah. do that yeah. by all means but yeah. if you if you try to play it with no communication, except for the when you yeah, play the a card, card. Yeah, yeah. Like a card or something. Know. Yeah, like suggest uh, that yeah. you can suggest what card to play. I mean, that's great. Um, I remember once we, when we played this in teams, and I you guys told me after, or you told me after that, because I had the highest score on an individual basis. Yeah, but my and you played with my wife. yeah, I played with your wife, and she had like one of the lowest scores, and yeah. we didn't win. And I was like, and you you blame me for that? I yeah. don't get it. I think that you did not. Uh, I think that you maybe I you was just a perfect I think, team player. I think you just utilized everything for your own games, yes. <laughs> and maybe my wife tried to help you more. I mean, she was oh, forced I, to help. You. I don't feel yeah. like that at all. So, yeah. uh, but uh, yeah, Concordia Venus, great, good. great, great choice, game. great pick, yep. good choice. So my number six is uh, taking us out in space. Beyond Ooh. the sun? No. <laughs> No, not beyond the sun. In space. In space. Yeah. If he said beyond the sun now, I, I would like table foot. <laughs> That's not gonna beyond happen. The sun. Uh, no, Terraform Mars. Yeah. Number six. Number six. So you have five games that you like more than Terraform Mars. Mm. That's weird, though. I mean, I know. I know how much you like Terraform yeah, Mars. Yeah, exactly. So I'm more interested to. In... No, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Please. Uh, no. Terraform Mars. Great. Great pick, obviously. No, it's a good pick. I mean, I like the game a lot, but it's also some things uh, keeps it from. Even though I play, it's probably the game I play the most, it uh, still doesn't stick at number one because there's sometimes we talked about this earlier this uh, week. Yeah. Uh, the, the things I don't like about it yeah. is that they can be very one one-sided in some ways and depends a little bit too on if someone gets like super lucky. In the draw cards or whatever. Mm. But you play you, and if you're playing with Joseph, he steals your plants or kills your. You play one versus one, right? It's two player yeah, will never happen. But I mean, I, I like it. Prefer it, of course, on four players. I think that's the best player count because that's when the terraforming is speeding en enough. I prefer three. So, okay. but I mean, the game is great in, in so many ways. Uh, Have you do you played solo? Like I don't think we ever talked about. Ah, I, I have played a solo, but I don't yeah. do that so much anymore. Uh, then I can play it on the on the app and yeah, I yeah, count that. Yeah. So because then you don't have to do the upkeep. But 
Yeah, but it, I mean, Terraforming Mars is a, it's a it's one of my favorite games that I play a lot. But yeah, it's pretty it's, good. Um, number six, decent game. Mm. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Might might show up. Might show up. In some year, game. not maybe not this no, year, no. maybe another year. Okay, so my number six is a three-way crossover. Hooray! Yay! We all love this game. Um, maybe. Too well, much. obviously, I like it the most because I'm the last one to mention yeah. it. I like it the least. What can it be? I know it's what it is. Robinson. It's Robinson Crusoe. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we talked a lot about this already. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, go check out the playlist. There's a lot of. Yeah. Is there anything there. you can add to what has already been well, said? Well, yeah, I think there's one thing that hasn't been mentioned, maybe, and um, it has to do with the components of the game. So, this is really important. You don't want to play with one, <laughs> any of the older versions where you have, have that. little yellow cubes. That's really boring. You want to have the. You need to have proper bananas for bananas. Yeah, proper bananas. And then if you're going like gathering. Like, like you, real bananas. And if you go in gathering fish <laughs> and you, you get a banana, it's obviously a banana fish yeah. that you're getting. So. I mean, like, I mean like a real banana. A real banana? Yeah, well, you have to play the game with oh. real components. Are you, are you supposed to be hungry as well? So yes. like, if you don't get the food, you have to <laughs> yeah, go hungry. Banana. And then you go clean the... Wow, this is another level then, of playing. <laughs> then you go live and you clean the camp. So you're talking about Survivor Show on TV, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, you want to meet up this weekend? Yeah, let's go. go. To, we go to the island. Island, island, also island, yeah. Swedish West Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, can, sure. Yeah. It might be harsh. <laughs> we might, we might find cursed, cursed cabins <laughs> and We should uh, actually find an animals. island out in the archipelago here and then sit out there in the midst of winter playing the game on an island. Or not. With all the polar bears. <laughs> With all the polar bears walking <laughs> around. I, I, I'm scared. I'm scared to do that. Okay, no, I won't. Yeah, it's Draco, too scary for Draco. Draco yeah. will keep the polar bears yeah. away. I guess he will. I guess yeah. he will. Yeah, well. That is a, an awesome game. We yeah, already really covered a lot. I look forward to playing through expansions. There's another expansion, though, that we haven't mentioned as well. Yeah. The Mystery Tales, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone owns it. No. But, yeah, I do want to check that out as well. And there's, there's a lot of stuff for this game, like scenarios and... Yeah, so much to explore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there, wasn't there a uh, game found campaign? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, this some year. more coming as well. But then, then I realized I was close to backing it, but then I figured I had my dice already, so and I'm not mm, going to yeah, need them. So no, no, didn't need no. it. Maybe I should have backed it. Yeah, I wanted to back it. I could afford. It was kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at some point, I'll, I'll, if I get rich, I'll, I'll buy it. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I, I love my coffee. Anyway, I have the bananas. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't. All right, so that was number six. It's getting, you know, closer and closer. We're up to number five tomorrow. Tomorrow, same time, same place. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and see us tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Guys. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.